14 miles southwest of the New York border, there's a Main Street bustling like never before. A county where the commissioner says there never was a recession. Probably about a $20 million investment right here in White Sox, and that came because of natural gas. And Bradford County Commissioner Doug McLinko wants to tell a story he says doesn't get told nearly enough. Misinformation is the biggest problem. We jumped in his pickup truck for a tour of the county, making several stops along the way, looking out at the rolling hills surrounding the Susquehanna River. Boy, is this beautiful here. He points out a gas drilling site, water withdrawal trucks, a hydrofracking site. All next to a family farm. Actually, right there is a frack that's going on. Fracking fuses water with sand and chemicals to crack rocks deep underground, releasing trapped shale gas. It's an industry that's been going strong in eastern Pennsylvania for about five years. A year ago, there were 50 fracking rigs going at once. Now, there are about 15. I know that you're well aware of the argument that we're trading. Long term environmental health for short term economic gains. What's your response to that? That is completely baloney. There's never been one water well ever affected by hydrofracking. He calls it the world's latest cycle of industry, one he says is making a world of difference for the 65,000 people living here. We eliminated all of our county debt, we cut taxes about 6%. We've seen $100 million added to the value of our county. Business has just been booming, and it has been again for eight straight years, and it's unbelievable. Greg Morell is a hotel operations director at the Comfort Inn. The chain hasn't had a vacant room here in months. He credits all the workers and business fracking companies are bringing in. Over at a Main Street jewelry store where they make ruby studded oil rigs and diamond encrusted drill charms. And they like their jewelry. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Owners Gary and Cindy Wilcox say it's like the Christmas shopping season year round. They also lease their own land for fracking. We really haven't had any problems. But try telling that to Tammy Manning. Oh, I worry about it all the time. She lives in neighboring Susquehanna County, and she believes all the economic prosperity from fracking is a trade off for her family's health. Our well was erupting. I mean, it was literally erupting. Manning lives on Route 29 in Montrose, Pennsylvania. We're at our wits' ends. We don't know what to do. Convinced the Hollenbeck fracking site up the hill was to blame for off the chart levels of methane in her well water, she convinced the state to set up an 11,000 gallon water tank in her yard for laundry and bathing. She has to buy bottled water for cooking and drinking, but it doesn't help her sleep at night. What is it that you fear most about this? Explosions. Manning's concern about contamination and spills grabbed the attention of high profile fracking opponents like Yoko Ono, who visited her property back in December. And Manning was at the New York State Capitol for a rally against drilling with celebrity Mark Ruffalo last year. But last week, the EPA wrapped up a 16 month long investigation, concluding hydrofracking isn't to blame for high methane levels in water. Nobody in our state wants to. Admit anything is the fault of the hydrofracking. And why do you think that is? Money. As New York leaders continue debating the issue at the Capitol, Manning is pleading with Governor Cuomo. Don't put your state at risk. Please. Back on his flourishing Main Street, McLinko says people like Manning have created unnecessary panic that has New York missing out on the next big thing in energy development. And he has a proposal for Governor Cuomo. Come down, jump in my pickup truck, let's go for a ride.